Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. This is Cheng Nan with China's Xinhua News Agency. Now I am live broadcasting to you in Lanzhou Basque Museum, Lanzhou City of Southwest China's Gansu Province. Today, following our camera, we can see many vantage different kind of uh, bicycles, and keep following Xinhua, and we will discover the flow of the Chinese history from the year 1949 to 2019. Let's go. And today, uh, Miss Wang is our tour guide. And following her instruction, we will know more about the history of the bicycle. 你好。那想请您给我们介绍这是一个什么东西呢? 该车是世界古品也是自行车鼻祖在一个下雨天在一个下雨天在一个下雨天在一个下雨天在一个下雨天在一个下雨天在一个下雨天在一个下雨天在一个下雨天在一个下雨天在一个下雨天在一个下雨
This bus cover is made in the year 1980. And now I discovered that there is, an, there is a little container on the back wheel of this bicycle. And I will ask Miss Wang what it is. 那个是发电机，它晚上自行车不是在夜间的时候可以照亮前面的这个灯。对，and Miss Wang just tells me that, uh, here is an electric generator. When people ride bicycles at night, uh, while you are you are riding this uh, this bicycle, and then this little uh, electric generator will. Will set will set a light on the head of this bicycle. So after checking all the kinds of vantage bags, uh, and now Mr. Chai Lin, the owner and the curator of this museum, uh, will show us the different uh, kinds of vantage bags uh, in the history uh, after the year 1949. 这辆车呢，生产于1950年，刚刚建发，就是我们玉九凤凰车子的强生出厂的这个车子。玉九凤凰强生呢，是我们上海有个富商叫朱通生，朱通生在1897年创建的。嗯，Miss Chai just tell me that um, this bicycle was built at the year 1950, uh, and it's the the first generation. A bicycle uh, came from uh, Shanghai, and uh, uh, this bicycle also got a name, and it it was named as a uh, Paul Bear. And following a camera, we can see um, this is the brand uh, forever. And it is interesting that we found this one. Following camera, we can see this is a head of a Paul Bear. And we can see the English letters B E A R as bear. It's quite a a good design. So this bike is just started. We in China are doing the bicycle bike because after the war, the war was very difficult. The bike was very difficult. So in this situation, the bicycle is also not unique. 说这辆车你可以看到非常江路的，它的这个烧火站，你看这冲去是铁棒做的，然后它的这个瓦梁，你看这是个降一的这个火火瓦，这种火瓦呢只能把上面龙子护住，两条火柱，下面如果在刮风
，而后呢，改为在永久制宪章。这两条呢，产生在六五年左右到七零年之间。Uh, it just indicates that、um, this kind of bicycle、uh, was made in the year 1965, and at that time,、uh, with the development of Chinese industry,、uh, we can see、uh, the advantages of these bikes.、Uh, on the surface,、uh, Chinese workers use the uh, baking uh, enamel on the surface of this bike. And after 40 years, we can see、uh, this basco is still shining because of the baking enamel. And the structure is more stable、uh, than ever before, which makes a symbol that、uh, after year by year,、uh, China's、uh, industrial level. Uh, is getting higher and higher.、Uh, in the 1950s,、uh, one normal、uh, Chinese worker they can earn less than ten dollars per month. If he want wanted to buy this kind of this kind of bag, he must save、uh, a year and a half、uh, his income, and then he can afford this kind of bags. So at that time, after the year 1949 to、um, 1950s,、um, for Chinese,、uh, there is an old saying:、um, "Three wheels and one ring are luxuries for Chinese." Three wheels,、uh, including a bicycle, watch, and a, a and a sewing machine, and one ring、uh, is radio. So at that time,、uh, an, a common worker should、uh, save、uh, his income for a year and a half. Then he can afford this bag. 那像到了这个呃六十年代之后啊，七十年代之后，这个慢慢生活发生变化。咱们比如说，要花多要存多少个月的工资才能买这样一辆自行车？随着工业的进步，随着社会的进步，那么随着呢，国力的日益提升。进入七十年代到八十年代，人们的工资呢，大概在六十三到九十块之间。那么那个时候，你想就等于发了两房的工资，从基础工资到地段工资发了两房的工资。Mr. Chen indicates that um、uh, after 1960s,、uh, from 1960s to 1970s,、uh, with the development of the economy in China,、um, a common worker or common labor force. Um, will earn about twenty to thirty dollars per month. At that time,、uh, if they want to buy this kind of、uh, new bag,、uh, they will see、uh, they should save about、uh, four to six months their incomes, and then will get this kind of bags. And nowadays in China, according to the newest data, that、um, in the late of 2018,、uh, there are over、uh, 325 vehicles in China, and there are about 400 million drivers in China. And nowadays,、um, these kind of bicycles、uh, played a supporting role in Chinese in Chinese people's daily life. And、uh, about 150 years ago, the first bike came to China. From the point of view about the bicycle expert, 70 years is a, such a quite a long time, and a tremendous transformation has happened in China. And nowadays, nowadays Chinese people. Are embracing the shared bags in the streets, and in this museum, we can also see this kind of、uh, shared bags. With the development of the economy, and when we walked into the new century, we found the least kind of shared bags. For most of Chi- for for most Chinese. You just take off your cell phone and scan the QR code, and then 
you will write this kind of back anywhere you like, even without finding a stand. And today we walked into this museum, and we also uh, find some um, tourists here. And following the camera, we can s we will make a brief um, interview with, with our audience. 您是今天是来参观这个自行车博物馆的吗？是的，专门慕名过来来参观自行车博物馆。对，那像您觉得就是自行车在我们的这个生活当中都发生过哪些变化？ 呃，从最早的时候，从我出生开始，母亲的嫁妆就是一辆自行车。呃，等我上学的时候呢，又是折叠牌的自行车，折叠的那种。呃，等到现在日新月异了，我们现在呢就是共享单车，大家都是骑着这种就是呃社会社会然后发放的这种单车，我们去骑，非常的方便啊、呃，停放也很方便。好，谢谢。According to this tourist, um. She just indicates that uh, about 30 years, about 40 or 50 years ago, when his uh, grandma got, got married, uh, they, they must have the luxury things such as bascos at that time. And, and then with the development of the uh, Chinese economy, uh, more and more people, they got their own vehicles. And uh, all these kind of bags played and um, supporting role on the roads. And now, uh, for her, she, she even uh, doesn't need to buy a bag because there are many, many shared bags uh, in, on Chinese streets. And uh, shared bags uh, is an addition color uh, on Chinese streets. And uh, according to historical documents that uh, in the year from 1970s to 1980s, there were over 500 million bags in China. At that time, foreigners named China as the Basque Kingdom. And after that, uh, with the development of the Chinese economy, when we walked into the new century, more and more shared bags uh, are booming in China. And year after year, um, the shared bags plays an, also plays an important part in Chinese people's daily life. Nowadays, when we ride all these kind of shared bags, uh, we just can't forget the past. We can't forget the, all the vintage bags. 70 years from 1949 to 2019 is such a long time. For Chinese, um, 70 years ago, uh, even normal people, they can't afford the bag. Uh, then, after the year uh, 1949, uh, more and more Chinese, they can afford the bag, and they can afford more and more luxury things. And now, the shared, shared bags everywhere in Chinese streets. And today, uh, after the whole trip on this museum, we can watch the flow of Chinese history uh, of bicycles. And now, I'll wrap up our live show today. If you like our show, please share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Keep following Xinhua for more news and updates. See you next time.